is something I've never done before. I got my gallon jug, of dihydrogen monoxide. It's ballistic, of course, tactical ballistic dihydrogen monoxide. And I've got some dihydrogen monoxide soaked tactical denim, all balled up. I've got these weird rounds right here. This is like one of those, um, I can't even remember what this is called. Glazer, that's it. That's a 357 Glazer mag. Or, or, <laughs> that's a 357 Glazer round. We're gonna shoot that at that target. Okay. So it holds up that. We're gonna shoot that Glazer and we're gonna see if that'll, um, we'll just see what happens. I have no idea. I'm gonna try out the wet denim. That's uh, that's trying to figure out a better way to capture bullets. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah, baby. It knocked it at it over. Got my box all wet. That's ridiculous. Okay. All right. All right. That's good. Hey, that worked. That survived. So that means that we caught. Just a minute. What did you, did you find that? Yeah. Went all the way through this and then stopped. Oh, look. Look. Look at all those BBs in there. I thought that was dirt at first. I think it's just copper jacketed full lead shot. But, so that pierced. It pierced this, but they didn't have enough guts to make it all the way through the other side of the plastic, which is what it's designed to do. But where is the copper? I don't know. I'm gonna guess it's long gone. Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. Today, we are looking at some lead stuff and using the um, definitely not Coca-Cola right here to um, determine if they're real lead or not. And while we're here, uh, we'd like to shout out to the pharmacy right there for uh, holding everything that we need. And 